भरतपुर बर्ड सेंचुरी द ड्रीम डेस्टिनेशन फॉर वाइल्ड लाइफ फोटोग्राफर्स इन इंडिया द पार्क हैज अ न्यू नेम केवलादेव नेशनल पार्क a unesco recognized world heritage site it's in bharatpur rajasthan just 55 kilometers west of agra i plan to visit the park for 5 days during end of january 2023 it was my first visit to bharatpur had a dream of taking a signature shot of birds and animals having mesmerizing backdrop of famous bharatpur landscape but don't know where to take since the park is huge and even 5 days will not be sufficient to visit no can corner of the park this is a haven for photographers however i couldn't find any consolidated location guide for planning my day a reminder if you are a repeat visitor in this park this video may not interest you also if you are planning to spend less than 3 to 4 days in the park this video may not be helpful for you here i am trying to spot 15 locations where i mostly had taken photographs and would like to share with you let's start the journey the park is on agra jaipur highway and close to many moderate to budget hotels i was in the park from january 30th till february 3rd 2023 however next year i will plan an little late around mid february heard that activity tends to be more during that time we can explore the park in cycle rickshaw battery car horse driven car by cycle or simply walking i prefer cycle as it's cheap and i can go wherever i want through the trails however it's tough to carry all gears in a backpack and cycle 15 to 20 km daily For Indian adult, the entry fee is rupees one twenty six. Foreigner has to pay more, and students get a discount. The ticket counter opens at six thirty during winter, and it's better to be in the queue early so you can start ahead of others. The golden lights and blue haze in the park is incredible, and you don't want to miss that. Strictly avoid weekends. The cycle shop counter opens at 7:30 but the cycles are available at the stand. Pick up a good cycle from the cycle stand and approach the entry ticket counter while you purchase your entry ticket. Be nice with them and ask if they can arrange a cycle. They will take the cycle fee of rupees 150, your ID card and make an entry in the register. In the evening while you return, you can take the cash receipt along with your ID card. I used my DL however you can try with other ID as well If you are with a guide you don't need to deposit the ID but a guide will cost you rupees 4000 per day First day I had taken a guide to understand the landscape It's worth it if you can afford the cost Rickshaw will take rupees 2400 per day and can help you with locations and guidance but they will not go in the trails we are going to discuss about 15 locations where i have taken most of my photos along with species name i have added a location tag in each of my photograph i am showing this 15 locations through google map additionally I am keeping the Google Map location link in the description box for your reference. Please look around in these spots and be patient. You will experience the right moment. You may need to visit multiple times to capture your signature shot. Like I always wish to take a shot of a deer looking at me in a dense forest road having a background of morning blue haze. I spent around 2 hours in the morning but without any success. The next day I again reached the same spot and get my dream shot. Let's start.
let's see these locations through google map here is the entrance to the park once you cross the main gate you will see the cycle booking counter entry ticket booking counter and cycle stand all in a row at your left cycle rickshaws other vehicles and guides are all available in this area the road straight goes to locations marked as location 1 that is first canteen in this stretch you will find a spot for outlets a temple and few trails on your right few jackal hideouts on your left side nothing much however would suggest directly go near location 1 as early as possible before the place get crowded there are two canteens in the park the first one is here at location 1 only tea soft drink and small packet of snacks like chips peanuts are available pack your lunch sandwiches from hotel as it's not available anywhere in the park The crossroad is famous for golden jackals early morning before 7 a.m. Be there and you will find some with nice composition. They are also at location 3 at boat ride area behind the canteen and near location 4 ground. Heard that they shows a plenty during this early hour. to mark their boundary you can get a nice sunrise from location 2 back of the water tank i was fortunate to have one along with a peacock explore the area near location 5 at the gate of bird rescue center there is a tree left side of the gate and you can find spotted owlets very nice along with morning golden light near first canteen crossroad there is a check post from here the core forest area starts and they may check your entry ticket from here you have three option to explore option 1 you can take a boat ride from location 3 at an additional cost of rupees 450 however i would suggest to speak with the boatman first at the check post for his availability later in the day i found two beautiful nightjars during my boat rides which was not available in other parts of the park option 2 you can go straight towards location 14 towards kingfisher point through the most scenic place in the park bakalia mori Sapan Mori and Neel Dal. We'll explore this path shortly. Option three is towards Jatauli Chowki, location six, seven, and eight. This area is quiet, and you will hardly see any visitor. Around location eight, you will see deers with early morning blue hedge. I spent hours in this place for the perfect moment. Keep going. on the road although google map will not show this trail and you will end up at bhaisa mori bridge something like this in the picture take a right turn and you will reach at location 9 this place is famous for saras crane i found twice in this area once in the morning and another in the afternoon also i found once a lone saras crane at location 10 in late afternoon however the distracting light couldn't help me to take a nice shot keep going towards location 14 at kingfisher point the scenic beauty besides road is incredible you can get some signature landscape on your left and endless ducks at your right at nilthal you may get nice shots of common kingfisher with golden backlight near location 14 spend some time in that area from first canteen 
If you go straight towards location 14, that is Kingfisher Point, you will pass through the most beautiful area in the park. This is a popular road and is always crowded. The dry area of the park ends near location 10 and you will experience the mesmerizing water bodies both sides of the road having ducks, storks, herons, ibis and many more. Location 11 at Bakalia Mori and solar panel is key location to observe the ducks. I found a beautiful lone falcated duck here which was seen after 40 years in this park. Location 12 at Niltal and location 13 at Sapan Mori is the heart of the park and I have spent hours every day in this area. You can explore the trail on your right opposite location 14. This area is famous for action shots, bathing shots, I have seen a tortoise moving towards the water and many others. From location 14, once you approach towards location 15, you will experience painted stalks and their nesting activity on your left. Every winter these birds come here for nesting and use the same nest year after year. Nice place to spend some time. The next key location is Darter Point, where you will experience the signature action photos like toppling of fish by darters and feeding activities of large cormorants. You will see large number of photographers gather here and spend hours to capture the moment. I spend some time every day in this place after a hectic cycle ride. Here is the second canteen and provide the same food as the first canteen. The python point is next to the washroom in the canteen ground. There are two trails which I couldn't explore, one towards Agharpur area, another towards backside of Niltal. If you have experienced this area and found interesting, please leave your message in the comment section.